Hi, I'm store manager David Gaskin. The grocery retail industry is always trying to find better ways to provide the best possible service for our customers. Our goal is also to reduce employee work stress and potential job injuries. Hi, I'm Carrie Edgerton. Our stores are great places to work in. We get to interact with people, make friends, and develop good customer service. We get to have some fun, too. We have to work together to make our stores profitable and healthy, safe places to work and shop. Today, employees and managers are sharing information and communicating with one another regarding the individual work processes in our industry. Our goals are to be accident-free, maintain a productive business, and to be an integral part of the community. And we all want to stay safe and healthy on the job. The industry also benefits from preventing occupational injuries and illnesses. Our production increases because we retain skilled individuals who can perform the specific tasks necessary for good quality service. Indirect costs can be as much as 10 times the direct cost of the injury. When one of us is injured on the job, the company has to shift people around, hire new employees, or train existing employees to cover the positions or work us overtime. These injuries also impact us in our everyday home life. Working together can assure the finest customer service, the best conditions, and the most productive business operations. We are constantly using our upper body to perform tasks we enjoy, and sometimes to perform tasks just because we have to. Critical to these movements are the fingers, wrists, elbows, shoulders, and neck. Such tasks as meat cutting, stocking shelves, checking groceries, and moving stock are all similar to tasks we do in our daily lives at home. Repetitious movements done while performing these tasks can cause soft tissue problems. Muscles, tendons, ligaments, nerves, bones, blood vessels in the fingers, wrists, elbows, shoulders can all be affected. I've had symptoms of soft tissue injuries. The symptoms include pain, swelling, numbness, and tingling sensations. It also affects my strength in the affected areas and the range of motion. Certain actions can increase the risk of soft tissue injuries. Using the identical or similar motion every few seconds. Using a key punch device, such as a computer or calculator gripping and pinching using our hands. Working without support for the arm or elbow puts stress on the shoulder joint. Rapid forearm rotation. Wrist and finger movements. Twisting and or bending our neck. These movements have the greatest potential to cause problems for our employees when they are repeated time after time, day after day, over an extended period. Soft tissue injuries do not show up in any one particular type of person. None of us are immune to the problems associated with these injuries. We need to develop a plan that facilitates early intervention to address soft tissue problems of the upper body. First, we must identify the risk factors and work together to assess each situation, see if there is a problem, and if so, how severe it is. We can develop our own checklist of risk factors for the grocery retail industry and use it to evaluate our own work processes. Such factors as the type of movements, time involved, and the strength to perform the task can be assessed using an assigned numbered system. This will give us a good idea of where the problem may exist. When trying to evaluate individual situations, it is a very good idea to work with professionals in loss control to help find the right solutions. Many actions can be taken to reduce our exposure to the risk factors of soft tissue injuries to the upper body. Simply stretching and warming up the upper body is an essential preventative measure. We must remember when warming up to move our joints through the full range of motion. Task rotation interrupts continued repetitive movement using our natural range of motion and a comfortable work position. Using the proper hand grips and pressure and not overdoing it. 
making sure we have sufficient breaks for rest and soft tissue recovery. We are always looking for better devices to aid our employees in performing their jobs. It is very important for us to follow up on our strategies and solutions so we know our approach is effective. Proper training for our staff is critical. Assessing risks and problems and finding solutions is an ongoing process for the entire staff. Each job task is unique to each individual. Therefore, we must consider looking at each situation as such. The communication between us is also key. Early reporting and cooperative efforts are necessary, so we may be proactive and avoid these injuries. Working together, working safely, and serving our community are our priorities. We want to be able to recognize workplace hazards and cooperate with one another to create a safe and healthful place to work. Everyone wins when we prevent occupational injuries and illness. Safety is free, use it generously, and remember, Safety is no accident.